example, let me record this one. Why back ST twelve is the very important transaction here. This will be used to trace your system performance and uh, system performance mainly for the performance tuning perspective. ST twelve is the transaction code to analyze the issues, performance, all the where is the exact issue. Suppose here you want to trace, you want to track the users. Suppose like you want to track the trace for the user. Suppose one of the user is executing very high response here. Then in this case, just take the that just to comment the just to user response, just to user underscore suppose like basis trace something like that. Then what is the user? Suppose like basis user. Then just you can click on the just you can click on the so trace here. Just click on the trace here. Start trace here. Then user the work process will select the work process will start here listen system start trace in that so tracking the trace and all activities in the system here whatever user do will now so everything will be traced here everything will be traced here everything will be traced here it will be tracked everything will be tracked here in this case here right so now you see here it is tracking it is compiling here so now user user will backend user will backend so user backend he will execute the all the things here user will track the all the things here so means whatever you do in the backend suppose like you can reproduce the issue everything so then what will happen that information will be tracked that information will be tracked here so once then we can we can we can start the analysis what's happening in the system and everything we can start the analysis here like that user trace work process trace jobs trace we can also jobs related information so all the current mode current transaction jobs programs so everything everything so we can analyze it here now see the trace is started now the trace is started now so now what i can do here in the system so i can go to the here so now I will execute the one of the transaction code. So, so that if I execute the transaction code, it will collect it here. It will collect it here. Suppose I will execute the some of the RSA1 transaction code. Suppose example, user trying to execute the one transaction code, it is giving the error, right? So then, so then just to once you collect the traces just end the traces and it will be collected in the traces it will be collected here right so then just click on the okay button no no need to no we want to select the all the thing then select it here right so now the trace is collection the trace is finished then collection is started here the trace collection is started here so similar like this is a user trace we want to trace the user trace here we want to start the the work process related trace here we want to start the work process related start trace here then you can select the respective work process we can trace it here so suppose if you want to change the log file size here so here normal is the 2 GB, then you can see, so 20 GB large, then sorry, 20 MB here, then 99 MB here, the size and the trace size file location here. Here, if you want to adjust anything, we can adjust here the trace things and everything here. Now we can start the traces, we can collect the logs here. Then we can also go to the current mode, current mode. So then the current mode, current mode means here transaction, the transaction you can enter it here then you can also execute the transaction you can start it here like that you can also schedule the transaction you can also execute the schedule the transactions and everything we can do it here so this is the one of the useful transaction this is the one of the useful transaction here so that so not only this trace we can also schedule the trace for the the background jobs background jobs also we can schedule it here so background jobs here 
so if you go to the here so there is a schedule so here you can just provide the job name what is the job name username program name everything just click on the schedule a trace schedule a trace here then the job name also we can collect it here sometimes we may get the request from the sap saying that please enable the trace user tracing or sometimes they may ask you go to the st12 track the trace transaction trace job trace sometimes what happens one job is failing or one job is running very longer time so we would like to understand what's happening in the job and everything here that time you can put the job name here then username what is the program name then you can just provide the timelines when is from date when the when from when which from time frame to take the trace here then duration then just check the intervals then follow up traces follow up traces means so number of traces here so say intervals iterations then just click on the schedule a trace then the job will be the trace will be started during this frame then so after that after that we can so in uh, end the stress then we can perform the analysis here we can perform the analysis here so like this the jobs background jobs related trace here user related trace here the work process related trace here all the information we can collect it here so then once you trace collected just open in the full screen mode here then we can do the some analysis we can do the some kind of analysis we can do it here just to open this one no trace found because we have not executed anything so that may be a reason let me open this one so duration what how much duration is taken in the duration what statements are executed it will give the some clear information here what is the table it is reading so all the information we will come to know here So collecting the trace gathering the trace here first of all so this log files they will like they will get they will expect that means sap will expect the traces once the trace collected open it and see the clear information the records summary the performance traces all the traces then so we will find out the issue in which table it is taking very longer time uh whether whether table has very any corruption any index corruption any secondary index are required so all the information will be traced here see here what is the gross so in which which way where it is taking some time in the above level taking the time here you can see the red color is in the 61 percent is taking in the above side above side means above side maybe yes gen or sometimes so some custom things these all are the calls above calls here these all are the tables if you go to the so database level these all are the tables also we will get it out sometimes here tables so sometimes performance trace sql trace Bob trace we will get so based upon the uh, interval we will get the traces here so that we can do the some analysis of the traces and all the information where is the exist so some kind of information we will get it out from the this analysis here 
So this is about the ST12 trace. So very, very important trace here. This is ST12. 